Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Man the Maker. Welcome back. This is Eratus, Lord of the Dead. And we are progressing on into the dungeon. I think we set everything up last time. We don't have Blood Curse yet. We got everyone pretty well hooked up. I'll give you Luck and Dread. Eh. Yeah, I think we decided against that. We could also, I mean, we're not actually running the um, thing that is dependent upon having four or more uncommon parts, so we're just not going to worry about that. So many damn brains. So many damn brains. Only in the game, folks, I assure you. Uh, let's take a look here. I think we're also, yeah, we got the gambling chip. Not going to worry about that because um, we're going to try and just go for the stress damage here, primarily. And I think, oh, okay, we can just go ahead and get started. Let's, uh, oh. Yeah, if, if, my, if I'm empty here, then I've already set everybody up. Let's go. We have no idea what kind of enemies we're going to fight here. Might be some new scary guys. Let's see. No, it's not. Okay. That's fine. For easy experience. We take that. We'll take that. Oh, you've been blocked. You've been blocked, and I am going to definitely... I unleashed your Put some of that damage down on you. Oh, you're gonna want to escape already? Jesus Christ, dude. Can't believe he's trying to get away already. Not sure what I can do about that. Um, I mean, try and take you down. We need to move him. We're not actually going to be able to do. We can, uh... Oh, the miss! Wow, 60% dodge? Yeah, okay, that does make sense. Um, you, however, this is what we can do. Now... Does this move both of you? How does this work? Who's getting moved here? Not exactly what I wanted. I wanted him uh, to get pushed back. You... Ten winds of oblivion on him. Now you're insane. You're all insane. You got uh, weakness and stress damage. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard to actually hit you, isn't it? I think what I'm gonna do is just get your stress to be gone. Thank you. Um, and then try and hit you. It's gonna be tough. We succeeded, but no death. You've got very high amp. I want to kill you before you run away, because I want your stuff. Which, I mean, I'm not 100% sure that that's how that works. We're going to keep going for it. This is probably going to miss, indeed. Nice, you're down, you're a coward, and you... Okay, well, that's fair. Cursed flames on everyone, please. Easy fights, take the damage. Just t taking it on the chin. Finally got it right. I don't know. You guys keep gaining stress. Did he have a crit there or something? Let's try and get you. I would like it for you to die. Because you can be very hard to hit. You're even hard to hit now, it turns out. Yeah, go ahead. Weak, weak damage. Is that because of hopeless? Yeah, minus 50% attack. Cursed Flames, just keep stacking that up so you guys all get heart attacks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, got some armor. Two bones? Alright, five more to go until we get the Blood Golem, which is pretty awesome. We did get some fancy flesh with evasion and armor. Anybody want some fancy flesh? Mm, you. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe save it for somebody who doesn't have a thing yet, though. That's probably a good idea. What I'm going to do, first and foremost, let's go to the Stella. And I am just going to get, probably for the last time, experience for me. I've been very, very greedy here. Because I want Blood Curse. Mm -hmm. I want Blood Curse. At this point, what do we even want next? Gaining Wrath, yeah, forcing Sanity checks. Ultimate abilities cost less is pretty, kind of like in my situation here. I think we will go down towards that. 
could also just start dealing damage to ourselves just because of the thing we need to do anyways. Yeah, okay. Sure, we'll unlock that. And then probably go for Dispel now. Yeah, that seems fine to me. Up next, we don't know what you are. Looks like a just kind of a regular grunt there. You guys did gain some experience. I think you had like one in a fight though. I mean, against those guys at least. They're pretty lame, to be honest. Level up you, yeah. Do you think I just like this more? With the mummy, the banshee is slowly just leveling up here. That's fine, you just do that. Our poor shade has been sitting, but he's, he's such a high level. I don't honestly, I would rather my other people level up than him. Can he even level up more? No. Only use him when we need to then. Would not mind getting these guys maxed out. Quite a ways away. Okay, we can go with this team. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. I do miss the... The thing is, uh, the shade is just so good. So good. The ability to convert sanity damage into physical damage is just ridiculous. It is incredibly powerful. So, so strong. Um, vampire. Hmm. I do want you guys all to kind of level up again. Do I? Kind of want you to, uh, to heal, honestly, so I can use you. Skeleton. No, I'm pretty happy with this, I think. Okay. The mummy's basically there as kind of like, a, hey man, uh, debuff me? Do I want that? Do I want that? Do I want that? Who else could I use? Not the shade. I mean, all right, here's what we're gonna do. You, sweetheart, sister, sister lost soul, level up. Let's give you a shot here. Getting all this accuracy it seems just doesn't seem very good, but okay. We will give you the ability to heal, I think. A little bit more dodge too. Um, or the attack, misleading beauty, only if you're in the front. Everyone gains initiative, but a whole bunch of stress damage to a bunch of people. Higher chance to escape. That's supposed to be like a good thing. But I don't get it. I just don't get it. Just less damage. I just don't get it. Also... Plus two wards and 15% less. Or one block and one ward. I mean, could save our butts. We'll, we'll take that, I guess. In for a nasty surprise. I really, really don't like any of your other abilities. <laughs> 10 accuracy, ignores ward, does more damage. I don't like any of it. I just, I can't see myself using her. I'm sorry. I'm not. I just can't see it. Maybe I did do one build where we used her and the Dark Knight who had, uh, whenever they gained buffs, but... Just not... Not okay. Not okay. I guess we're gonna go with this. Yeah, this is fine. This is a decent, a decent mix right now. We uh, gained a bunch of parts, right? Still hoping to just gain parts. I think we're just gonna carry on and get into a fight. We can swap you guys though. Do battle, let's go and see what's up. Okay, some new people here. 
This one, for example, you got a bunch of ward, don't ya? Yeah, blocked, that's fine. You, the bard, doesn't tell me what you do. But I'm sure you're just going to be buffing people, aren't you? Seems pretty likely. Why don't we just buff yourself up there? Probably work on dropping your ward and start getting your damage there. That's probably fine. Will that move you? Do I want to do that? Do I just put a curse? I can't do it on the front row. Who does this even move? Nobody. I don't understand. Does it move the person behind them? Very strange to me. Yeah, give me the wrath. Please and thank you. Yeah, stance protect. I did imagine that happening. And you shot me for a lot of damage. I wish you had some block. Yeah, that also removes debuffs. That's all that did, apparently. Unavoidable curse. Oh. Well, I don't particularly like that. Um, that's what I think we're going to do. Yeah. I'll just keep laying it on you guys. They're going to remove all the debuffs. Which is fine for me, actually. Um, returning strike. Probably just throw it at you. The block comes off. That's fine. Let's try and make you crazy. Let's try and make all of you crazy. One insanity and it's betrayal, which is great. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You're probably just going to remove debuffs. You're also insane and you also have betrayal, which is fantastic. Now I can just let you guys kind of kill each other. It's too late there, friend. It's too late. I think I want to do. I mean, yeah, let's start getting it up on you in the back. You guys are probably mostly going to attack yourself, you're just going to sneak. Oh, moving yourself to the back there, friend. Okay. Okay. Did I buff her? I did. You still have this stupid stance. Why oh, you wait? And let's get some impending misery here. I still don't fully get how that works. We are going to uh, all specs here. And just say, hey man. Doesn't matter that you have all those uh, wards and stuff. Yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> what are you going to do? you going to attack me? Go ahead there, friend. You got a bunch. Oh, just healing yourself? No, no buff on yourself? Okay. Okie dokie. Um, we just want to try and kill you. Right? And there it is. I'd like to try and kill you too. Maybe we gotta go after this one now. Cursed Flame. Probably gonna miss. But we can work it on her. Oh, you can't even hurt her. Wow, she does a lot of... Okay. I didn't realize that she had so much damage, so we're going to need to actually work on your stress situation because I don't know how well we're going to we're gonna make it way, make our way through you. Um, you, on the other hand, no. well, we can just start hitting you in the face. I don't mind at all. Actually, I should... Uh, you got your cowardice, yeah. Honestly, I should be using these things. So let's go. Nice, the heart attack on you. You guys are all gonna have to be bleeding out. I'm gonna stack this one, I think. Well, let's do that. We actually have yeah, 85 stress damage. Is pretty substantial. And we're just gonna go for kills on you so you can't run away. It's a bit more reliable. 
And you're crazy now? Hopeless. Fine. Oh, you're gonna redirect. Ah, <laughs> nice. Doesn't matter so much. Uh, I guess we're gonna heal you. Just so we can spend uh, the stuff. Wow, you st Does she have no... Oh, she has no armor when she's not in her stance. Okay. Kill, my darling, kill. Nice with the crit there. Do you have any evasion? You don't. Oh, I guess we're just gonna attack from all angles here. And you'll die from something, that's for sure. There we go. Easy peasy. Leveling up. We got another skull torch. More bones. We are getting damn close to the blood, uh, the bone golem. That is pretty exciting. Take you out. Damn close to the blood golem. Glalum? Blood Glalum. Um, what's up next? Which way do we want to go? Don't know where this guy is. There's a quest in that direction, which I quite like. I think we do want to go in the quest direction. That's a damp here. And I think we want that. Yeah. Fight a couple of elites on our way through. Maybe just one. Uh, yeah, we can fight one no matter which way we go. And then we fight the final boss. Okay. We're going to stick with the same team. I just want them to level up. So, yeah. Let's continue onward. See what kind of quest we got here. Maybe we can do a special thing. You expect a, you receive an unexpected boon as your forces stumble upon what looks like to be a small shrine with a suspicious crate inside. As they crack it open, they uncover a whole stash of holy weapons, perfect for destroying undead. You do not know who left them here for what reason, but you are happy to see that they are not in the hands of your enemies. But what to do with them? Tampering with holy energies carries some risk for a necromancer. Well, we have a mummy. I'll take it as tribute. Such holy energies cannot stand up to the concentrated malice contained within a mummy. And once they are removed, the weapons become perfectly serviceable. Great, we got ourselves a fancy weapon here. Two initiative, two armor, and one block. I do like that. Can we use it? Anybody with the weapon? Yeah, no. We got some bones. Also, do we have any rags? Or I mean, we've got some dust. I guess we go ahead and uh, let's convert it. It's not oh, enough. Of successful alchemy. Luck and vigor is kind of Ooh. meh. I'll hold on to it, I think. Behold my work. We can uh, ah, the smell of dread. Yeah, let's, let's go all the way and let's just go all the way. What do we got? Resistance, accuracy, and dread. Wow, you got a lot of resistance there, friend. Especially if we give this to you. The accuracy is okay. The dread is quite nice. You also can use it. Luck and vigor. Mm. Okay. You have all the resistances now. All of them. And the rags? No, not quite. We can do weapon. But nobody uses them. The rags and the dust, no. Fortunately not. Not quite there. Do we have the flesh? And you, Lich? No, oh, you're fully decked out now. Um, I think I'm going to keep using these guys basically until they just level up. I mean... How are you doing? You've leveled. That's nice. Could give you the armor. Giving us sanity or, or uh, the wrath... I mean, you need the armor more than we need the mana. Or, um, more than you need... What is it? Resistance. Six dread for their next action, or four attack and four dread for their next action. The attack is such a waste. I mean, actually, it doesn't really matter. I do kind of like the idea... of the four attack and four dread. It does kind of... Mesh nicely with the mix, the hybrid builds that we're going with here. But the attack is pretty crappy. All right, Serve we'll go with the chilling well, whale. My minion. I think I want to swap you. I think we do that. Yes. Yeah, because you do work quite well with the vampire, making him do crazy, crazy amounts of damage. 
And uh, I think because I want you to level up more than anybody else, yeah, you can get up in there. And um, I think we're kind of ready to go. I don't really have experience to go ahead and do anything. I mean, at this point, all I want is more parts so I can unlock the Blood Golem. <sighs> we're, we're fully stocked up here, right? Because the Blood Golem means we can un Blood Bone Golem unlock that. Not her yet. We should also be getting pretty close. 340 left. We need three bones left. And a bunch of damp here's. Hmm. Artifacts, we don't have any consumables that would be of use right now. I mean, we got lots of consumables, but nothing really interesting. Save these. I, I always end up saving. This is like my my gameplay in all games. Save the consumables. Just I always save the damn consumables. And I end up never using them. As will likely be the case here. Oh, the timer's going off. Well, next time we're going to continue onward in the dungeon. Fight some people that we don't know about. Open up some chests. Get in a whole bunch of fights. Definitely want to check out an elite on this level. See how that works for us. And, um... Yeah, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Till next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.